How's it going? Uh, all right, we're going to just have a really brief intro of the streaming software we're going to be using for the last few weeks of class. You're looking at it. It's called Vimeo Livestream. Now you're seeing a little bit of a delay because it is a streaming program. As you might guess, uh, video and audio when you're streaming always takes a couple seconds before it actually hits the airwaves. Um, if you've ever watched a live stream event and been in the same room when the live stream event is happening, you'll notice that things like this happen at different, uh, there's usually like a, between a two and 10 second delay, depending on things like connection speed. So that's one thing that'll be a little odd. However, let me just take this off of the screen real, real quick. Uh, I'll fade to black. Just wanted to show you basically how the software works. Um, not really how it works. We'll, we'll learn that in class, but I want to show you how, what you expect to see with it. Number one, it's got a preview and a pro and an and a program window. In this window, they call it output. Um, it could also be called program, but in this program, it's called preview and output. Down here, this might look familiar. Uh, you see a mixing board. Right now, I've got bars and tone. Let's put bars and tone in here. You hear that? I just brought up the master fader. You might remember this from the audio mixer in the studio. This is the stream output, and we can also record to the computer itself. That's what this is as well. This is the uh, record out audio, and this is the stream out audio. Let me bring that down, because that could get a little annoying. Um, oh, there we go. Okay. What's interesting is that uh, it's, uh, so there's two master uh, audio outputs in here. And then we've got a webcam, which is what you're looking at. I also have this microphone plugged into it. It's uh, from a, it's this hardware called Scarlet Audio. So that's why it's called Scarlet Audio. And then there's bars and tone. And that's why you've got the constant tone here. So watch, I'll bring it up. I mute it. Bring it up. Mute it. Bring it up. And if I wanted to listen to it as director, um, because sometimes it could be kind of distracting to have um, different audio feeds going on, you can put on a pair of headphones and listen to just the audio tracks that you want to separately from what goes out. So this program has the capability of if you have a video coming in and you want to make sure that it looks good before you go to broadcast, you could preview it up here and then also preview the audio in the headphones as well before you cut it. And cut, and, and cut it and 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 send it to broadcast. Send it to send broadcast. It to broadcast. Crazy, huh? Crazy, huh? Crazy. So another cool thing with this program is um, number one, we can actually also um, have you, if you guys are interested, control it from your computer. Now you can't really do this from a phone. I mean, I guess you could, but it'd be probably probably be too difficult. You would need more of a traditional computer or laptop. You can actually control what you see on this screen from your computer. There's this thing in the preferences called web control. And all I do is send you, say, I'll call you, okay, let's say uh, Brent. If you want to uh, be, the be the technical director from this and control all of these things, all I have to do is send you this link to your email and then what happens is oop, you get it's not doing it right now because I'm already connected oh let's see if it does it oh see I'm already connected so that's why it's it's taking a while what happens is it sends you a link saying do you want to connect to live stream you say yes and now what you're seeing is literally what you're seeing on my desktop Right here is what you're seeing on my desktop, the live stream multi-camera switching program. 
And then what you would be seeing if I sent you a link is literally my computer screen. We're looking at a web browser right now. This could be your web browser. And on your web browser, watch. You can, this is the web browser here in the front, and in the back is the program that's on my computer. So if, if you had this link on your web browser, on your computer, you could say, you know what? I want to fade everything up. Okay. So from the web browser control, you bring it up, you bring it up, and look, you can hear it now. And look, you can hear it now. And if you go to the actual program, actual program, look, look, watch when I bring the fader down. Watch when I bring the fader down. See it go down. I am controlling this from the web browser. If I send you a web link, you can actually control the program on my computer you can be the technical director that somebody else directs um it's pretty cool um this is something that we might do on the second or third week maybe on this first week we'll just have me be the technical director but i just want to show you guys the power of this program the other thing i wanted to show you is this your telephone this is super important your telephone or your laptop can be a camera that I can bring into here. All you need is the latest version of Google Chrome. No other program will work for this particular feature. You need to have Google Chrome on your computer. So um, what you do, the way it works is this. I'm fading to black, so it's, uh, there we go, faded to black. So on my end, I click on inputs. This is where I enter in cameras. See, I've got bars and tone. I see I've got my personal webcam. I see I've got this audio. But now I want to add you as a guest. So for example, Sandra, for your, uh, if you're going to be um, documenting this live in Texas, and uh, Brent, if you're going to be the host of the sports program from wherever you live, what I would do is I click on guests, and here where it says guest link, this is actually a link that connects your phone or your laptop, whatever you're using, to my computer as a camera. I hit copy, and then all I do is I send this to you in an email. And what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to send all of you this link. And I can have up to five different remote people in here. So in this case, we'd have Brent, we'd have Sandra, we'd have maybe a different camera on the team, on the uh, on the on the uh, dance troupe, and then we'd have a camera on like the basketball coach. I think that Sandra said that she's going to have for this. So we would have four remote guests. They would each get this link. Okay. So just for fun, I'm going to send this to myself. I would say live stream link uh, for whatever day and week it is. Right now we'll do Sunday night. Boom. There it is. And then on your phone or your laptop, you click on this link and then, and then watch. I'm going to send this to my phone so you can see what happens. I think one reason my computer is slow is because I've got this Google Chrome thing open. I'm just going to get rid of that. There we go. It's probably going to be better. Okay. So now I'm going to check my phone for the link. And you could do this on your laptop too. Any computer or phone that has the latest version of Google Chrome, the latest version you can get on the computer, all you got to do is open up this link uh, in, this, in Google Chrome. Let's see here. There it is. There it is right there. And all you got to do is click on it or copy and paste it into Google Chrome. Open with Chrome. Boom. And watch what happens. This is the cool thing. My phone 
is now a webcam. Now it'll ask you to join at the bottom. It'll say, add your name to join as a guest. So I'm going to type in uh, Ken. I'll type in, let's type in Ken. J and, then, and then you click on whoop, join, join event. And then watch what happens on my screen here. Watch the screen. Boom. Look at this. My cell phone camera, in this case it would be your cell phone camera, is now talking to my live stream software. I click add as input. And look, it even says Ken right there. And now you are an input. And so this row up here are all the inputs that have loaded into this program. So now I click on Ken right here. Hold on a second. I should put this somewhere. There we go. So I click on this. This is my webcam on my computer. I hit cut. Now it's the my telephone that opened up the link in Google Chrome. And then maybe I want to put bars and tone in preview. I click on that. And then I click on auto. Auto is a different transition than cut. Auto can dissolve. You can also click on this little graphic that's underneath the, the little fader. This is the literally the fader that's on the physical switcher in Studio B, but this is the virtual version of that. See that? I can click on this and I could change it. Look at this. I clicked on it and now I have all these different graphics. Right now I'm, it's a basic dissolve, which is this. I can make it this which is a type of wipe. Watch this. See that? Or you click on auto. I can make it a star. Click on auto. And up here, transition duration, we're doing things at 30 frames per second, right? So if I want this to be a three second transition, I just make it 90 frames. And now watch. See, that took three seconds to do. If I want to go back to the regular dissolve, it's the one in the top left corner. I click on that, and now it'll be a three-second dissolve. And you're seeing a big delay here because I'm using uh, video recording software on my computer to do this, and my computer's been on all day, and uh, I have my browser open as a second camera. There's a lot going on in my computer right now. But um, this is what we can use to do our live multi-camera stream. Everyone who's going to have a camera just uses this link that I will be emailing to you. You open it up in Chrome and boom, you are logged in to my computer and I could just switch between the different cameras. So as you could see, this is why I need to get all of your graphics, all of your videos, all the music, at least, um, at least a day and a half to two days beforehand because it's going to take you know all all afternoon for me to input the things in here um, to test stuff out to make sure my computer is running optimally things like that and then the day that the production happens all I have to ask you the talent to do is to log in with the specific Vimeo code which is right here um, so be on the lookout for that email that has the Vimeo code. And if you're a talent, uh, you will be able to uh, come in here and be a guest in my little guest window. And if you're not a talent, what you can do... Oops. Oh, look at that. Adobe Creative Cloud. Probably has got too much going on. There we go. If you're not talent, what you can do is you can use that web control link that I showed you before and you could just sit in and watch it happen. 
from this uh, live stream perspective. So everyone will be able to watch this production while it happens. Some people as guests in the guest window or everybody else as an observer watching my computer as it happens. So I'm looking forward to that. Hope you are too. Um, and this is called Vimeo live stream. It's actually a free demo as long as you don't do a live stream, but you can record it to your hard drive. That's fine. So if you're interested in getting a copy of this to play sort of by yourself, um, just let me know and I can send you the link. All right.